Now that the US rover stands on the rocks of the Jezero crater of Mars, things are all set to move literally. Right now, NASA scientists are busy making sure everything is all right to get Perseverance started. Once that's done, the rover will rove over the rocky planet. Perseverance will be driven around. Questions are, how and for what? You can't remote drive the vehicle from here. When Earth and Mars come closest to each other, it takes 4 minutes for a signal to get across. At the farthest, it takes 20. So Perseverance gets its instructions for the day early morning. Then it is on its own. Unlike satellites, Perseverance does not have a solar array to power it. Instead, it has a radioisotope thermoelectric generator, which converts heat from the decay of plutonium-238 into electricity. Perseverance can therefore work even during nights. We all know that with Perseverance, NASA wants to find evidence of early life on Mars, not fossilized dinosaurs, only tiny microbes. Okay, you find biosignatures of ancient life, so you know there was life on Mars billions of years ago. So, what? The mission does not stop with a yes or no, it goes deeper. Down here, we have lots of fossils that are hundreds of millions of years old, but none that are billions of years old. So we get no peek into the deep origins of life. Here is where rock samples from Mars, which had water and livable temperatures, come into play. The fossilized microbes can be put under microscopes to see how things were 3.5 billion years ago. To guess your future, you must know your past. So when is Perseverance flying back home with the samples? Well, never. The poor thing is doomed to lie in the Martian desolation. Perseverance will take coarse, crayon-sized samples from below the surface and put them into tubes. Once the 40 tubes are filled with coarse, Perseverance will drop them on the Martian surface. With that, its main job is over. It might continue to wander around and take snaps. Sometime in 2026, NASA will land another spacecraft on Mars, which will pick up the sample tubes and place them in a basketball-shaped container located inside a Mars Ascent rocket. The rocket will soar and split the container into a Martian orbit. The container will mindlessly revolve around the planet until another NASA spacecraft swallows it and brings it back to Earth in 2031. Chaitanya Giri, a Gateway House space expert who has worked on comet landings, observes that for the US, Mars exploration is more than just learning science. Its meta-strategy is to make Mars a human colony. Accordingly, it is encouraging other countries such as the UAE to get onto the Mars bandwagon. This is an opportunity for India. Indian startups will plug themselves into the US's Mars ecosystem, says Giri. To read the complete story, click the link in the description box below.